What is going on, my hustlers? Here with you today, December 23rd, right before Christmas, coming with a stock that I am super, super excited about for long term. You guys saw my video the other day. If you didn't, it's it's geared toward new new people. Uh, I don't want to call them investors, but new people putting their money in the stock market and how you think about it. Whether you want to be a day trader, a swing trader, or a long term investor, and this is one of those long term investor opportunities. And so I've had a couple that have really popped here recently. Um, I've talked about Dropbox since the beginning of this channel, and it's taken off. I've talked about Tattooed Chef since the beginning of this channel. And it's taken off. Some stocks have not taken off yet, but again, we are here for the long term. So Rolls Royce, we're here for the long term. Um, Tesla, I I'm here for the long term, but it's going to be super, super volatile uh, over the next few weeks, few months, and probably a few years. But if you've seen that Tesla truck, you know it is going to be awesome. So anyway, the stock I want to talk about today is something that I would have probably never thought I would go backwards on. Um, I am 35, but I've always been on the cutting edge of technology. So when I'm, you know, 11, 12 years old, I remember dialing up the internet. I remember having AOL. I remember learning how to type, you know, in middle school and uh, and taking, you know, beginner uh, programming classes in high school. And We've always been on the, or I've always been in the cutting edge of technology, and I feel like my generation has always been there. And we've, now as we enter upper level in our workforce, we're pushing technology, technology. I remember uh, transferring my phone the first time um, that I got to use the cloud-based service where I didn't have to hook up wire to wire, but I could just do it all through the cloud. I thought, this is awesome. This is the future. Now you can do it with full computers. And the cloud just keeps growing and growing. And everybody loves the cloud. And I love the cloud too. I just told you. I love Dropbox. I use Evernote. I use uh, Google Drive. I, I use these things every day for work. And I love the cloud. But I also feel like, not to get nostalgic, but I hate when the cloud goes down. I hate when my cloud password gets compromised. And I have to change all my passwords and change my email and change my security questions because it's all been hacked. We've all been there before. So this company is kind of a throwback. And companies, especially in the financial sector, which fintech is going to be huge in the future. It's already, it's growing. It's growing like crazy. And this is not a fintech company. This is a company that is a storage company. It is called Pure Storage Ticker symbol PSTG. It is pure storage. It is old school. That means that it is that room that's you know stores all your data, and it's not in the cloud. It's actually a physical room. And yes, companies are going back to that. This is a growing market, and this company is taking market share away from all the big dogs because they're just better. Now, let me tell you why uh, this company came on my radar. You guys know, you guys know, I have, uh, I, I don't want to call it a, a stock crush, but if there was an investor that I had to give all my money to, it would be Kathy Woods. And so when Kathy Woods makes a major move, I always look into it. And so I've waited three or four days to make this video because I wanted to make sure that I do my due diligence. I just don't buy things because Kathy Woods says so, or because Bill Gates says so, or any YouTuber says so. Always do your due diligence. And so it's taken me uh, four days because I made a monster video the other day. I've been busy Christmas shopping every day. But now that I finally got a chance to look, again, Pure Storage, PSTG, um, I get to see why Kathy Woods and Arcs own 30 million shares. Vanguard, we all know Vanguard. We love Vanguard. You know, if, if you're going to put money in a fund to just let it sit there, Vanguard's a great place to go with their cheap rates and, and, and they're just a great, great company over the long term. Vanguard owns 20 million shares of pure storage. Also, T. Rowe Black, uh, BlackRock, Fidelity, they all own a lot of shares in this company. And so I know the world is moving to cloud. 
But I'm telling you that there is always going to be an industry. And not only that there's going to be uh, industry as in, you know, those of us that are, uh, and I always laugh like talking to my parents like, oh, we're just in the dinosaur age. I have to keep a physical calendar. It's like, no, like get in the modern era. You know, digital calendars are awesome. You can share them, edit them on your phone or laptop or iPad or anything. This is not one of those scenarios. There is a reason that companies are using peer, uh, peer storage still. And it's not because they're dinosaurs, it's because they're actually moving back to it. That this is a company that is growing. This is a, a market that is growing and we will continue to see this market grow over the next few years. And this is a company that is eating up market share, meaning that they are taking business away from other companies. Now, if this whole industry is growing and the other companies in that industry are shrinking because this guy is taking all of it up, that's the company that I want to be in. And so this is why for me, I'm in it for a long term. There was uh, a couple stocks that I've been in, um, you know, just some day trades and swing trades that, um, you know, I wasn't sure if they're going to play out. Some of them pop today, um, but I, I'm getting out of some of my short term stuff to get in all my long term stuff. And so this is a great, great long term play. I sold some stocks off. Um here, right here before the end of the year, uh, because I, I want to balance out my profit so I don't pay too much taxes, which that's not the only reason I'm selling. But I always look at things like this. Could my money be used better somewhere else? Could my money be used better somewhere else? And when I look at pure storage, I just feel like that is a place that deserves to have a lot of my money. And so I've established a very big position for me which is like four or five percent uh, of my total um, money invested in the stock market. So that means that shows you how big I am on it. Again, the other companies that have four or five percent, we're talking about Tesla, we're talking about Dropbox, uh, we're talking about Tattooed Chef Company, um, and then underneath that, like the next tier down, that's three percent is uh, Top Golf and uh, Dave and Buster's. And I talk about those those stocks all the time. But again, those are long-term stocks. Maybe they pop here in the next three months. I mean, you know, the stimulus package is going crazy. It passes Congress. The president's threatening to veto it, puts out a thing saying, you know, $600 is a slap in the face. We're sending, you know, puts just goes on straight blast mode, uh, telling all of the, the money that's going overseas and saying that's not acceptable. We need $2,000 direct payment. And so who knows if it gets passed, uh, you know, we're, we're uh, counting down the days to where we may have a new president here in the next, uh, what does that be, 27, 8, 28 days. And so we'll see what happens if we can get this out. And then obviously uh, the vaccine. The vaccine plays a huge deal in some of these stocks um, just because, you know, we want to get out living again. We want to open up. But regardless of all that, the long-term play here, pure storage, it's going places. If you made it this far in the video, hit the like button. Do your own due diligence for you by this company. Please do us all a favor. Don't just blindly buy anything because someone tells you to, even if it's me. And again, I'm buying it for me because I did my due diligence and it works for me. This is a company that I believe in. This is something that makes sense for me, from my perspective. And I think that that's going up, but you should still do your own due diligence. Research the company. There is a lot of information out here on this company. They're not a new company by any means. They've been around for a while, so you can do your research. Why did it? Why did the price drop during the Roni Run? You know, when when March, April, why did the stock price drop? So do your own research and see. Okay, is it really set for growth, or are we just seeing a little pump and dump, or are we just seeing a little uh, bump for no reason? So hopefully you got value out of this video. Hit that like button if you haven't. Go ahead and subscribe. I try to come up with my best stocks and give them to you as soon as I as I feel comfortable talking about them. Which again, this stock came on my radar big time three or four days ago but I wanted to do all my due diligence to come here and tell you about it. So it's a long-term buy for me. If you're brand new to stocks, check out my playlist, uh, brand new investors, the, the advice that I give to you just because I think it's it's super valuable and hopefully it'll save you a lot of the headache and heartache that I experienced and keep more money in your pocket. Also, if you're wondering what platform you should use for trading stocks, Robinhood uh, has gotten a lot of bad press here and rightfully so. But Webull, if you check the link down below, you can sign up, put a hundred bucks in, get four free stocks. Every time you sign up to get four free stocks, I get one stock. So I get a little kickback there. Uh, the stocks that I've gotten have been anywhere from $20 all the way up to $50. 
And so if you got four fifty dollars stocks, that'd be, you know, putting in a hundred bucks, you get $200 back, but it can be valued even more than that. I have a friend the other day who got a Google stock. So that's like $1,600. So uh, anyway, I think it's a great trading platform. It's the one that I use more and more uh, just because I, it, it gives you really good information. It lets you paper trade, does a lot, a lot of cool things. So Anyway, let me know what you think about this company in the comment section below. Again, if you found value, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Share this with a friend. Let them know, hey, have you checked out this stock already? All right, December 23rd. If I don't see you between now and then, have a Merry Christmas and a great New Year's. Y'all have a good day.